Basically, it's a blowout. 13 nothing as stretch time as the Roadrunner fans stand up. Long way to go here for, and probably multiple changes as Pete Hughes, the Oklahoma head coach, is now talking to the umpire. We're going to see a bunch of people coming in. New pitcher for the Sooners is Dylan Grove, a freshman out of Oklahoma City. Six foot two, 175, 170 pound right hander. And he's tall and lanky. Grove this year, this is only his second appearance. He has one inning, didn't give up any runs, allowed a hit, two strikeouts. So uh, gets a chance to pitch here in Bakersfield and get his feet wet. It's only his second college appearance. Then Dritzos had an incredibly effective game for the Sooners. Basically completely dominated this game. Six innings, he allowed only two hits, no walks, struck out only two, but it was, was basically complete domination. Got ahead of almost all the hitters, 78 pitches is all. It's a very workmanlike outing. There's multiple position point changes here on defense. Mendenhall is now at second base. He played second base in the first game. Sooners now have Ryan Madden, who pitched yesterday. He's now playing first base. First batter, Metzger, lifts one to center field. That'll be an easy out, one down. Couldn't begin to tell you who that might be. Well, ben Hollis is probably the one out there in center. He is out there in center, so Hollis catches runners, that one. Number 25, Nick so Nick Vailwall will pinch hit for Max Carter. Probably will remain in the game and play first base. First pitch is outside. Next delivery, outside again. Dylan Grove, the pitcher for the Sooners now. Half swing and a miss there by Vela Wald on the next pitch. Two and one count. Here's the next delivery, hits. Bailewald in the back. That's only the third base runner of the game for Bakersfield. Two singles earlier in the game. Actually a double by Gusbitz and a single by Robles. Those are the only two base runners prior to Bailewald. There's a pinch hitter being hit by a pitch. Malik Jones, four for four in the first game, is 0 for two thus far in this one. See if he has any better luck against Dylan Grove. Here's the first pitch, swung on and missed. Sharp breaking pitch, swung over the top of it, 0-1. Jones hits a little slow roller up the third baseline. Roadrunners on deck hitter, looks like another pinch hitter. Looks like Troy Hughes is out there. 
Hughes is a freshman out of Bakersfield Christian High School. 0-2 pitch here coming to Malik Jones. High with a fastball, one and two. Thirteen nothing here, Oklahoma leading the Rolling Runners in the bottom of the seventh. Grove into a stretch now steps off the rubber. Baylor wall not being held on. Nobody's going to be running here in the situation. Thirteen nothing deficit for Bakersfield. Here's the next pitch. Swung on and flied to center field. Hollis jogs in, easily play, makes the catch for out number two. And now the Bakersfield will go with a pinch hitter. For the runners, number 34, Troy Hughes. Troy Hughes is now going to pinch hit for Chance Gusbeth. Gusbeth had a double in the second for the first Bakersfield hit. One of only two hits the Roadrunners had. Here's the first pitch that's outside for a ball. Hughes this year is hitting 1,000. He's had one at bat and he's got a base hit. Can't do any better than that. 1-0 count. Here he takes the fastball right down the middle. 94. Grove filling a good arm. 94 mile hour fastball there on that one. One and one count. Here's the next pitch. Pitch away. Outside, wild pitch allows Bailewald to advance to second. Oh, calling it a pass ball. Pass ball allows Bailewald to second take second base. Hughes trying to cash him in, trying to get Bakersfield on the board. It's two. It's thirteen nothing Oklahoma here in the seventh. One one. Every now Grove backs off the rubber. 2-1 pitch here. The umpire correcting the count. And here's the 2-1 delivery. Breaking ball. Good one. Inside corner at the knees. Called strike two. And now we're at 2-2. Two two. Right after he threw a 94, that one was at 79. I don't think Hughes saw too many pitches like that when he's at Bakersfield Christian. 2-2 two -two count here. Two outs in the seventh. And the next delivery. Fastball fouled straight back. Ball hit the light tower and bounced back here. Almost nailed our people. Now he can take that back for a, uh, he's going to take it back for an ice cream, he says. Good thing that didn't come over about three feet. It would have hit us. Two and two count. Here's the delivery. Low with a fastball. 91 mile an hour pitch on that one. Full count now, three and two. Baylor Wall at second. Sizable lead at second as infield is backed up. He's playing a straightaway defense. The 3 2 delivery. Breaking pitch. Strike three called. A really nice, pretty pitch there. And Hughes is caught looking.